Currently, if you try to rename weapons on the Steam Deck, nothing will happen. Some players like to rename their weapons in order to bring them to the top of the inventory. In method one, we can use a workaround to rename to a symbol or number. Press the Steam button, then go to controller settings. Enable back grip button. You can use other buttons if you'd like, but this should be the quickest. Press the button for L4 and then select a key on the keyboard that you would like to use. Go back into the game. While holding L4, press the Y button to rename a weapon and it should be renamed after closing the text prompt. Two, you can use more complete names, although it is slightly tedious. With Fallout 4 exited, go to its properties in Steam and scroll down in the general tab to add the following launch option. Steam Deck equals zero space percent sign command percent sign. Start the game and use your finger to touch the screen and press play. With this command, you cannot use the virtual keyboard at all, otherwise the game will crash. Press the Steam button and go to controller settings. Enable the back grip buttons, then edit the L4 button. Select the first letter on the keyboard of the word you'll rename your weapon to. In this example, I want to rename it to Yeet Lord. After the first letter is chosen, press the settings button near the key and then add a sub-command for the next letter. Then go back to the settings button near the first letter and do the same thing until your word or phrase is completed. When you are finally done, go back to the first letter, press the settings button, press settings, and make sure that only the cycle commands option is enabled. Next, you'll want to edit another button such as R4 and assign it to the shift key in order to capitalize any letters you wish to. Now go back to the game and press Y to rename a button. 
Start pressing L4 and press it over and over again until the entire word is completed. Hold R4 at the same time for capitalizing letters. This method could be applied to other things too. Don't forget to remove the launch option in the game's properties later, or you might have problems using the virtual keyboard for other things, such as console commands. Check my other video to see a fix for that too. Please enjoy these fixes until the day comes where Bethesda Game Studios finally gets their shit together. <laughs>